Meanwhile, Jamaica's tourism minister, Ed Bartlett, is upbeat about the prospects for the tourism sector. He's anticipating a 4.4% growth in stopover arrivals this year. Mr. Bartlett says several projects will be undertaken to make sure destination Jamaica is more profitable and attractive. The tourism minister is also expecting to earn some $2.6 billion U.S. dollars in revenue for the 2016-2017 fiscal year. We are expecting Mr. Chairman to grow the industry by 4.4% this year on the stopover side and um, to increase by a similar percentage on the cruise side and hopefully to achieve a total of 3.9 million visitors this year and to earn 2.6 billion U.S. dollars, which would be an increase of some 7.8 percent over last year. Those are the overall objectives, Mr. Speaker. In terms of the two critical side, the demand side of the industry. On the supply side, we've built out some capabilities within the ministry with regards to the linkages um, initiatives and we are going to be driving that with great energy so as to enable the absorptive capacity that is lacking to be built out. So more of the U.S. dollars that we earn from tourism can stay in Jamaica, create jobs, and provide value added and economic enrichment. Mr. Bartlett was speaking recently in Parliament as the Standing Finance Committee reviewed the 2016-2017 budget for the Ministry of Tourism. Meanwhile, Opposition Spokesman on Tourism, Dr. Wickham McNeil, queried the increase of $500 million towards overseas marketing. I, I notice there has been an a increase yes. in the overseas marketing. Yes. No, well, no, I'm just not, not, a, not a bad thing, but it's an increase of what would be about 500 million. I think that provision, as I know you're aware, is um, one, there's some exchange gains, exchange rate gains, which should have accrued to the JTB from TEF, which they never got last, which they are getting now. And secondly, to deal with compensation issues for the overseas staff. Oh, well, should that be under overseas marketing or under overseas representation and, and regional offices? No, well, the, it's what, just for clarity, be, because I mean. there, 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 there was a shortfall in the allocation from um, the Ministry of Finance for administration, and um, and I think that arrangements had to be made since the overseas component okay. of that staff com would, would be dealt with from this. And Dr. McNeil questioned Minister Bartlett on whether his revenue target for this financial year is overly ambitious. The, the expected um, fees is $5.1 billion for this year. And, um, for... for 16, for the year, 15, I think what 16, happens here is the 1670. 16, that's a projected. It's how All much? Right. Now, for, 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 for what we're projecting for this year, I think what, what is here is some carryover because you know the collections are not all within the same cycle. So we have, we have, you have receivables that are to come in and they, they keep flowing in at, at different times, as you know. Um, you know the position with IATA and the airlines and so on. It's, it's exchange gains. It's actually exchange gains because it's Without predicated here, as you know, in Jamaican dollars. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was just wondering if the extent to which. So this is, this is what you're expecting. Yeah. Well, remember, the, the exchange rate was predicated at 116. And it is now 122. 